Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Webbox and welcome to the first video in this tutorial video series. So in this video, we're going to see how we can install jQuery. Okay. So there are two ways that you can use jQuery. First is to have it locally in your server. And the second one is to link to some um, CDN. So we'll look at the first approach, which is uh, initially downloading jQuery. So go to the jQuery website, which is located at jQuery.com and click on this big um, yellow download link you can't miss it on their website okay so and just scroll down to where it says jQuery 1.1 and jQuery 2 okay so we're going to go with the jQuery latest version so it says download the compressed um, production version or you can choose to download the uncompressed version development okay so just so that we can see that jQuery errors much easier let's just download the uncompressed version so click on that button here and that should take you to um, this page with a lot of bunch of text. So just um, copy everything. Press Ctrl A on your keyboard if you're using Windows and press Ctrl C to copy it. So next, what you want to do is create an empty folder anywhere you want on your computer and then create a file there. Just any HTML file. A suitable one will be the index.html which I have done um, or ahead of time. So next you want to open that in your text editor which I have done as well. And I've created some boilerplate HTML code so we don't have to waste any time whilst you guys watch me type it, okay? So next, what you want to do is just create a script element right before the closing body tag here. So we'll just say script. Okay? And next, what you want to do is set the source of the script to um, js for slash jQuery dot js, okay? So we have linked to the script, but we haven't um, created a script yet. So go back to that folder where you created the file and just create a new folder there. So we'll say new folder and we'll call it JS. So let's navigate inside to that folder. And in there, we'll create a new file called jQuery.js. So just create a new text file and just rename it. So we we'll say jQuery.js. Okay. It will ask me if I want to change the extension. I'll say yes. I'll drag that into my text editor and then open it there so you remember this text that you have copied here initially just paste that in here just right click and paste depending on which editor you're using i'm using brackets text editor it's a free editor by adobe and save that okay so next um we'll look at the second way of installing jquery so this is done already now you have jquery in your server or your local computer and you have linked to it inside um your index.html as we have done here Second way of installing jQuery is using a CDN. This is normally the um, prescribed way to do it if you are launching your um, production code. But when you're developing locally and you might not have an internet connection, it is always good to have it locally there. As we've copied and pasted here. Okay, so let's um, go to your browser and search for CDNJS. Okay. So that should bring you to some website and um, the first one in the search results is the one you want is uh, the location cdnjs.com so we'll open that and this is how the website looks like so what you want to do is just search for jquery in this big search box here so we'll search for jquery and then it will have a bunch of results for us but the one we want is the one where in the library name is called jquery copy all of this text here that's the link to the jQuery, um, which is located on their remote servers. So come back here in your code. So instead of linking to the locally installed jQuery version, you can um, change the source to link to that um, URL. So just copy that and paste it here. But one thing you have to do is just add HTTP and um, colon there. So HTTP and colon here. And um, yeah, so now you have jQuery installed on your computer. So to test that jQuery has actually been installed, let's go back here in our um, folder and open this index.html file in the browser. So we have done that. As you can see, there's nothing here. So um, let's go to inspect here. Open your um, inspector if you're using Chrome. Um, if you're using Firefox, it has something similar as well. So to test that jQuery is included, just type the dollar sign and type dot. You should have all these functions um, available there okay so that's one way of testing that jquery is um, installed the second way of testing that jquery is installed is to 
create a new um, script tag here. So we'll say script and set the source to js forward slash main.js, which we are going to create soon. And go back to your folder, to your js um, folder, create a new file there called main.js, which I'll do now. So main.js, and we'll say yes to changing the extension. Open that in our file um, text editor here, and we'll just wrap that um, around our anonymous function around um, the the dollar sign so just use a dollar sign and inside it pass it an anonymous function like this okay basically this is what it's what it's saying is when a document loads just um run the file inside there so we'll just say alert jquery is loaded so this can only run when jquery has been loaded okay because of the dollar sign which will which is only made available by jquery so we'll go back to our browser if everything works fine you should see an alert here saying jquery is loaded so we'll refresh as you can see it says jquery is loaded okay so um that's how you install jquery guys um and thanks for watching i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye